my harp journey was probably one of those sudden decisions made over quite a long time. Um, I remember being at the Sharon Temple one day uh, with a friend of mine listening to a South American harp concert and it was beautiful, it was exquisite, um, beautiful instrument in a, in a magnificent setting and um, he offered his harp for sale at the end of the concert and uh, I kicked myself later for not buying it because I sure wanted to. Um, and it wasn't until many, many years later that uh, a friend invited me to her home and uh, she had just started playing harp and she owned a magnificent harp. She says, cheer up, touch it, play it. And I wanted one so badly. She said, you better go talk to Andrew and see what he, what he has. And um, sure enough, he had a harp for me and I owned one within a week and uh, decided I better take some lessons to learn what to do with it. Um, fortunately, my parents had given me the gift of music uh, with eight years of conservatory many years ago, so I was able to start playing fairly quickly, um, but uh, Andrew's expert uh, instruction got me um, learning so much more about the harp and in my own time he knew exactly how fast to push and where to allow space to develop your relationship with the harp because when you're learning any instrument um, you're going to spend a lot of time with it so you better love that instrument and I certainly can say that I do love my